I'm Brett, this is Luke. We're going to demonstrate today the applications and uses of Northane. Luke's going to apply today on four different surfaces. Timber, aluminium, terracotta, and a bit of PVC pipe. It can go on almost any other surface. We're using it on these surfaces because for the durability, abrasion resistance, UV resistance in the colours, where I'll expect the, the colours to last 20 plus years outside in the sun. Northane being a two-pack polyurethane is used in a number of different applications. Obviously on, on boat holes, on caravans, on vanity units, on bar tops. Northane is actually food grade and chemical resistant. Food grade basically means it won't harbour bacteria in the surface, so if you drop food on there and you eat it, no harm done. Chemical resistant, if you've got bar tops, you drop alcohol on there, no harm done. Or in vanity units, if you drop perfume or aftershave in the bathroom, won't mark the surface at all. Northane can be applied in three different ways. You can use a good synthetic brush, you can use a short nap microfibre or mohair roller cover, or you can use it in a spray system with a spray gun. We don't recommend things like foam roller covers or foam brushes, because what they tend to do is introduce a lot of air into the paint film, and what you're gonna get then is a really nasty finish. Mohair rollers and microfiber roller covers, they apply quite smoothly. They leave no sort of uh, air bubbles, and you'll get a really nice finish out of it. When it comes to spraying, we recommend using a 1.4, 1.5 nozzle. Uh, we recommend using up to 33% of our Northang spraying thinner. Reason being is you'll get a nice, even mist out of the gun. We also recommend doing it at a 60 to 70 PSI. With the brushing thinner, if it's a really warm day, so if you live somewhere in the north of Queensland, in the Northern Territory, if it's above 30 degrees, we recommend up to 3% uh, brushing thinner per volume of paint you're using. For cleanup of the brushes, use the Northane brushing thinners. This has been specially formulated for obviously the brushing purposes, but also for the cleaning purposes. Northane is a two pack paint, as Brett mentioned before. It works on a two to one ratio. That means there's two parts by volume of base and one part by volume of hardener. When mixed together, you will have a complete paint system. Luke's going to here demonstrate the Northane Clear. It's a two pack system, it's a two to one mix. Very simple, all you're doing is you're getting the top can and you're pouring it into the bottom can and applying it like you would a normal paint. Yeah, so basically what Luke is doing here is putting the hardener into the base and going to stir it up. So this is a chemically cured paint rather than an air dried paint. Being chemically cured, it is a lot better for the durability. I'd expect this outside in a colour to last 20 plus years. So Luke now is going to stir it until the clarity is perfect in there before he applies it. It's very important that when you're stirring that you make sure that you scrape the sides of the can and also at the bottom because we want the hardener to be fully mixed in with the base. As you begin to mix the Northane, you'll notice that there'll be uh, streak marks and swirls. What that means is that the base and the hardener are starting to combine together. Once all those streaks and swirls go away, that means that the base and the hardener have become one complete paint. So now we've waited our 15 minutes. Now, if we need to, we can add some Northane brushing thinner. The Northane brushing thinner, we use up to 3%. And what that does is gonna allow the paint to brush out nice and smoothly, and it reduces paint drag. If we're gonna be spraying, we use up to 33% Northane spraying thinner, and that is in the volume of paint you are mixing. What that does is it allows the paint to come out of the spray nozzle very evenly. And when it hits the surface, the only thing hitting the surface is the paint. When spraying Northane, you need to get the gun to 50 to 70 PSI. If you start getting irregularities or dimples in the surface, you need to wind the PSI up a little bit higher. And when we're spraying, we can do up to four passes it's called a wet on wet technique, and we normally wait anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes in between coats. A handy hint, when using a new roller cover, I like to use a piece of uh, packaging tape, and what I do is I run the roller cover over the sticky side and remove any of that excess lint. So when I go to paint with my Northane, I'm not getting any contaminants in my paint film. So the first thing we're gonna demonstrate with our Northane Clear is on this piece of Australian iron bark. This piece has already had one coat of Northane put on it, and what we've done after it's cured, which is takes about 24 hours at about 20 degrees Celsius, is then we give it a light sand with some 240 grit non-clogging sandpaper, and then we remove the dust with either a paper towel and some acetone, or we've got a product called Norclean. Norclean Plus is the perfect product for cleaning your uh, surface. What it's gonna do is it's gonna remove all the dust from our sanding. It's also gonna remove the fingerprints and the natural oils from your fingers if you're touching your timber. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make some passes with the Norclean Plus on a clean paper towel, and we're just gonna clean that surface. And you can see here how it's evaporating almost immediately off the surface without leaving any residue. Okay, so now we're gonna apply our next coat of Norsane Clear. And what we're gonna do so is we're gonna do nice, smooth, even brush strokes. And the great thing about Norsane is it actually has self-leveling additives in it. So when you brush that out, all those brush marks are gonna move away. Okay, so now that we've done our second coat, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that for 24 hours. And if we like, we can put a third coat over the top. Or if, for instance, you've got a bit of dust or something's fallen on it and you're not happy with it, a light sand with some 240 grit paper, clean with our Norclean and a paper towel, and then you can repeat the process and have the third coat put on. So as we can see here, this is a piece of Australian red cedar, and this actually has two coats of the Norsane Clear on it. And you can really see the character in the timber. You can also see the nice high gloss level on that. So if you're after a project that doesn't really have that real high gloss level, Norfane's great as well because the clear actually comes in a satin finish as well. So it still has that great clarity through it. You can still see right through the clear, but it just has that less gloss level and it's a lot easier on the eye and a lot less light bounces off it. No detrimental effect to the paint film either, Luke? Absolutely not, no. It's the same, you still get the same chemical resistance, flexibility, everything else with it, just in a satin finish. Another different application for um, the Northane in the clear, all the colours, doesn't matter, more, the, more likely clear, is to paint the inside of a terracotta pot here, which Luke's going to do. You get that white crystallisation of salt on the outside of your pot and you're forever trying to clean it. Basically what this does, this stops the migration again, like I said before, going through the terracotta pot and keeping it nice and neat forever. And so Northane, like I said, is food grade, which if you put it in the inside of the pot, it won't harm the plants. It's also totally waterproof. So that's exactly why the salt won't migrate through the terracotta pot. So Luke here is going to demonstrate the Northane black straight onto a PVC pipe that has already been pre-cleaned with Northane. So we've got here, like Brett said, a piece of PVC pipe. So let's say for instance at your house, you've got a drainage pipe and you don't like the look of it, you can just paint the Northane straight over the top. All you'll need to do is just give it a light clean with our Norclean Plus, remove any contaminants, and then you can apply the Northane straight over the top and you'll get a great glossy finish that can last up to 20 years. So Luke here is now going to apply some pre-prepared aluminium and put the Northane black on there. So you need something on the outside of a boat like Northane for the durability because it's, it takes a lot of wear and tear. But you also need the flexibility. Now most people think a two pack isn't as flexible as a single pack paint. It's actually the total opposite. Northane is extremely flexible. Like we've put a, on this brush stroke card here. Didn't mark at all, didn't crease at all. And you need that on, depending on the substrate where the, it can expand and contract or flex like aluminium steel boats. So this is a piece we did 24 hours prior to the one we just coated then. And as you can see, it's completely cured. We've taken the tape away to show our primer underneath. And you can see we've got a nice straight line and we've got a nice high gloss finish there. So Northane comes in 21 standard colours. All the colours come in high gloss, but are also our clear and our white also come in a satin finish for your indoor projects. When you go into the shop, all of our lids are painted with the exact colour that is what is in the can. 